Hello guys, this is Corn Pie Cheese, and today we are doing another mod review. No, I'm just kidding. This is actually our first mod review on this channel. Yeah, first mod review. So, we are doing the mod Railcraft. It is for 1.6.4, and it requires Minecraft Forge. Now, you may also notice that the sound sounds um, different. It is because I got a brand new microphone. Um, I'm not sure if it sounds better or worse, um, so... Yeah, I'm not really sure. Basically, there's a whole lot of settings on this, so I'm still learning how to use it. So it should be better as videos go on. So I just gotta figure out the perfect settings. But yeah, so let's just start out. So, what? What is this? It's all dark. And what is he holding? Okay, so this is steel armor. And we got our crowbar reinforced one. But I will show you about that in a sec. So, first let's start with the new fences and walls and stuff. So we got our wooden post stone post, metal post, and this is a black post, white, gray, and then we have a whole bunch of colors, let me just go on creative, but, oops, got the space, there we go, okay, so you got all the different colors, all metal posts, just, you know, with coloring, and then, now we have walls, not fences, so we got infernal brick, sandy brick, oh, and also, you may notice it cuts off part of the sign, but whatever, so we got sandy brick, concrete brick, snow, ice, nether brick, um, this, there is a difference, there's nether brick fence, this is nether brick wall, so there's a difference, not much, but there is. So we got brick, sandstone, chiseled sandstone, smooth sandstone, obsidian, frostbound, quartz, chiseled quartz, iron, gold, diamond, abyssal brick, quarry brick, Bloodstained brick and bleached bone. Wow, there are a lot of walls and fences and stuff. I think they should have called it wall craft or fence craft or useless items craft. Like, who even needs a freaking diamond wall? God, okay, we got snow. Um, yeah, walk. This is like snow stairs, ice stairs, iron stairs, gold stairs, diamond stairs, concrete, concrete block, concrete stairs. Creosote or Creosot block or something. We got Creosot uh, stairs. I'm pretty sure it's wood. Oh yeah, and then there's this. Not really sure what this is. It just kind of it spawns in deserts. Whoops. <laughs> I'm having some serious lag there. I should download Optifine, you know, so I can fix that. Anyways, so we got abyssal brick, fitted abyssal brick, um, abyssal cobble, and the abyssal block. And then we got the same thing for infernal brick. Fitted infernal, fitted cobble, fitted block, same thing with blood stains, and same thing with sandy, sandy brick, fitted cobble, but, oh yeah, it didn't quite fit, so I just did that, whatever. Then we got our bleached bone, fitted bleached bone, uh, cobble block, then we got our quarry, there's like lava right here, um, frost bounds, and nether block, not nether brick, fitted nether, and nether cobble. I just built on top of like, like a beast. Okay, so let's start with some of the more um, parts of Railcraft. I'm pretty sure, I'm not sh well, I'm not, I'm not 100% on this, but I heard in some other YouTube videos that Railcraft also comes up, comes with a couple other mods. Railcraft is just basically like, for, like this is all kind of new, just basically for the actual like, uh, whoops, wrong one. So it's just basically for like all the um, tracks and this kind of stuff. Um, yeah, there's all these like detectors, like this will detect an item, uh, mob, power, it says what it'll detect. So yeah, well, so let's keep going. So these, these are, these, these are the new um, crafting recipes, so the regular rail. Um, we got these, ra what are they, what's that like specific name? Standard rail, that's great. Yeah, so we've got standard rails and a wooden rail bed. And to make the wooden rail bed, you need four wooden ties. And to make the wooden tie, you need three slabs and a creosote bottle. Yeah, that's creosote wood. Um, and then for powered rail, you need the advanced rails, rail bed, again, over here. Ties and that. And a bit of redstone, and then over here, you need the rail bed again, these, pressure plate and redstone, you get the detector rail. And yeah, so let's get into some more interesting things. So, 
let's actually I'll get to that after. So let's start about some of the new rails. So this one is called the launcher track. It does what the name implies. So let's do this. Launch. Wow, and I put more rails into lava. Um, but yeah, basically it launches. It's cool. So I'm gonna go jump in that. We. Jeez, oh, 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 let me out, oh, god, okay, and start with the next one, now this one basically acts like a, actually, I'm, well, it's basically like an activator rail, um, to activate, like, TNT and stuff, except this one you can adjust, like, the fuse, so how long it takes to blow up, I'm not really sure how to do that, might be with the crowbar, but, blows up, Ooh, second it hits the ground, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's with the crowbar, but I don't want to mess with it, I don't feel like it. Let's put that back. And this, um, so yeah. So as you can see, what? The track is floating. How is that possible? So that track is called suspended track. Ah, lava's so noisy. Let me turn it down a bit. Just music I don't even need. That down. Okay, so anyways. Um, so yeah, so it can, so, you know, just place it, but it can only go two, so if you try and place the third, it will not work, it will go only two blocks wide, and you have to do another thing like this, like so, and let's do that, okay, wee, oh, 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 I crossed it, oh, oh, it's amazing, oh, 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 jeez, yeah, I just put lab at the end, so that, well, this I didn't put, this I found, but I, I just had lab at the end, so you get rid of the minecart, now let's start with some new stuff. So this, what the heck is this? This is called a locomotive, or a steam locomotive to be more precise. So here's the craft, crafting recipe, so here we go. And then these, um, I would know them when I see them, ah, here, and this. Okay, so you use some steel, what is this? Steel tank, well, no, that's not it. <laughs> it's, no, it's this one, okay. High pressure boiler tank for those and you need two solid fueled boil boiler boiler firebox iron bars and some mine cards I, I don't even need that and so i will show you how to use this so it's not complicated so first you got to get some coal and some water ah good enough okay. so uh let me add thank you and open some that thing that flips it okay <laughs> Okay, so you gotta put some coal, you can put it in there, or you can put it here, it's cool how it does that, it's awesome. Oh, there's already water in here, oh well. And yeah, so as soon as it runs out, it'll just start reloading, or refilling, I mean. And yeah, so, um, I, it's already filled with water, basically what you do is you put a bucket there, yeah, it does that. It takes the water, puts it in here, and you just keep placing water until you get up to 6,000, each bucket is worth 1,000 water. So that's empty, and then it'll give you your regular bucket. And so it's on shutdown, so you can go to idle, which means it won't move, but it's actually on. So now it's going to start to heat up, and then you need steam. And as you get enough steam, you need steam to move it. It's basically like a train. So if it's on shutdown, it does not do anything, and it will start to cool down in just a sec. So let's put it on idle. If you set it to running, you can it'll move. So this is backwards. Oh, yeah, so it'll move. This is backwards, and these are the different speeds. So I'm just going to wait for it to fill up. And you're probably wondering what the point is a train for, or, well, like, what's the point is for this? Or, actually, I'll get to, into that in a sec, let's just wait for that. Oh, look at that steam! Yeah, so it uses the water and the coal, heated, and that. So you're just going to keep waiting until the steam gets to its maximum. Um, yeah, it's going to stop there, get shut down, it's going to keep going, go back to idle. I, I'm not sure if that's a glitch or something, but it just works, you just hit shut down and idle again keep going it's going to continue to heat up almost 200 degrees celsius and almost 16,000. it gets like right under it. yeah there we go okay so now we're going to change it let's just go slow speed to running oops put that there we go oh yeah halo does this got to push it off there i guess it's also a good thing if the rail or if the track breaks it won't fall off so yeah now it's moving oh it's beautiful notice how these are all just regular tracks so um, so it doesn't need that. We can go faster. We can go like, s nope, super fast. Oh, it's fast. Get back out. Oh, slow. Okay. Then you're probably wondering, what the heck is this even for? You can't ride it. You just fall off. You can't. If you try and right click, it just does that. So what do you do? Well, I will show you. So just 
putting on idle for now. Keep going up. So here's the purpose for these. So you get a minecart and then I'll also get like chest carts and then place that and that. So if you get your crowbar, now right clicking it is just gonna change direction. So you're gonna have to crouch a five. Right click and right click and it says link started, link created. Now what this, this will do, it will link it together, just move back and so it, I can jump in here and if I turn this on, it moves, isn't that cool? It carries all of them like a train, you can go faster. Um, the more minecarts you have, the slower it will go and it does have a maximum. But whoa, look at this and then you can go in here, you know, carry some water buckets, oh yay, and boom. Let's just back on idle. Oops. And then, um, what you can also do, um, yeah, I don't need the water. Uh, let's go to transportation, grab this, scroll down, this. Okay, so what you can also do, uh, let's just that, 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 okay, crouch. Okay. So let's say, blah, 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 let's go fast. Okay, so let's say, oh yeah, let's say we're, we're riding to the other side of town. You can be like, oh yeah, you can store your stuff, and you can craft stuff, you can make stuff on your way. So it's kind of cool for that, you can do stuff. And let's just, I don't, I don't need this. I'll just have one card at the end. There, okay. Uh, whoops, forgot to crouch. There we go, and now I'll show you what this is. So this is called a switch lever, and this is a switch trap. So if you do that, so if you right click it, you'll notice this changes. So this means it will go straight. This means it will turn. So I will show you that. Let's go running, let's go three, uh, let's, go two, let's go two, too fast. Uh, straight and turn, okay. So before it was on straight, as you saw, and now it'll turn. Also this is a whistle track, it will make a noise when this comes. Otherwise known as that, whistle. So yeah that back and yeah so that's how the locomotive works so oh yeah I forgot to do this one as well I was supposed to do this one earlier but whatever okay so um right where is it here it's called the one-way track okay so right now it is off and you can put this and so oops, daisy so it'll just keep going back and forth endlessly destroy okay and this is called the one-way track, so it can only go in the direction that's pointing. So as you can see, it's arrow, it's pointing that way. Okay, let's turn that on. And now, oops, no, play side. There we go. Oh, dang it, I, I messed it up. Sorry. That. Okay. Uh, and oh, see, it can't go backwards. I think it also gives speed as well. That's cool. Just keep going. Oosh. Ah, there we go. So yeah, it's a one-way track. There's a whole bunch of new things. Then there's the junction track. Oops, I don't need that. You know, you can go like this. Blah, 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 blah. You know. It, it works either way. So yeah, you can have a junction track and you can cause a big collision. You can have a whole bunch of cards just ram into each other if you want to do that. So yeah, so that is about it. Uh, I'm just kidding. That's not even close to it. Look at how much stuff is in this. Like... But I'm not going to review all of it. This is just kind of a smaller review, quick review kind of thing. Um, just showing you some basics. Oh, let's just turn it off. Shut down! That's pretty high heat. Anyways, yeah, so this is just basically showing you the basics. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I always forget to do stuff. Yeah, this is the crafting recipe for the crowbar, um, the rose red, and iron ingots. So anyways, um, yeah, so this was just kind of a, a quick review, not a super big one, just kind of quickly showing, getting the basics, and yeah. So if you guys want to download that, there will be a link in the description, as well as Minecraft Forge, because you're going to need that. If you liked it, go and hit the subscribe button, I will do some more mod reviews in the future, um, server reviews, mini games, machinimas, I do all that kind of stuff. And um, you can go subscribe for that. If you like the video, go and leave a like. If you want to tell me how I can improve my videos so I can make them better, comment down below. I am always happy to get um, constructive criticism. No matter what you say, even if you don't like my videos, I don't care. That helps me. So, yeah. That is about it. And I will see you guys.
eventually. Or maybe I'm gonna die tomorrow. Or maybe I'm gonna die in the lava. Yes! Oh, yes! Oh! Oh, we're burning! Oh, I need to take off this armor. Yeah, die quicker! Oh, ha uh ha. -huh. Okay. Bye.